Thursdays at 7, uh, Sundays at 12. But outside of that fact, we're moving into uh, losers top eight with Birch versus Eliakim, We Fit Snake. Right now, I'm sensing a little bit of a battle of projectiles here. I do think, however, that We Fit's deep breathing might make or break this a little bit. Um, if Birch can get his necessary hits in. Ooh, like nice that! Chunky up, up smash, smash, taking him from 48 to 72 there. God. I mean, again, it was up smash with deep breathing, to be fair. That really is the power of deep breathing. It's it's such a strong concept in don't, Tool don't. and Wee Kit's kit. In don't, Wee Fit's kit. Don't let that mannequin breathe. <laughs> Not even for <full> a second. <laughs> Great utilization of soccer ball by Birch there to contest Eli's ledge setup. And again, I feel like that's such a good tool that Birch has in his character, soccer ball. Whether it's the ball itself or the move, it's just so oppressive, especially on ledge. Uh, sometimes you feel like Birch just wants to be there on the defensive more than he is on ledge guarding or kind of fighting out center stage. Ooh, but nice snare up there, right there, coming off of Birch. Now Birch has deep breathing on uh, with Rage 2, we fit. If he gets a nice string going, this could be a chunky bit of percent on Eliakim. And that could make it a little bit worrisome for him. Oh, no, nah, but they re grab ledge. And they're unfortunately catching that up smash Fortunately, right no invincibility there on the second ledge grab, like you had said. Missing his second up tilt, allowing Eli to drop with a grenade and get himself back into neutral. But deep breathing is always back on deck for Birch. And I think that's the I, I think I think the hardest part for Eli in this matchup is to is to manage you know, or kind of beat out Ooh. Birch's deep breathings because the timer will reset and he'll either get that stuff super fast or he'll sit there in a long drawn out cutscene. <laughs> like there, a moderate load up speed for deep breathing, but because he got it off, Birch could take the stock very soon with a with a deep breathing forward tilt or dash yeah. attack even. It, oh! Soccer ball, not gonna close oh, wow, out yet though, however. Yeah, wow. That was actually extremely close to the blast zone, too. And then they were at a ridiculously high percent as well. Like, that was actually kind of surprising that they didn't kill. Not a lot of knockback on soccer ball, unfortunately. Even, with, excuse me, with deep breathing and a little bit of high percent, it's starting to come on rage. Huh. Forward tilt, nice chunky uh, beat out of shield. Deep breathing is offline, so that forward tilt. Uh, no, that forward tilt's gonna kill regardless. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah, they're, they're like, what? They're at 170 something. Maybe that 182 right now. Soccer ball, however, saved him from that little bit of a half charge sun salutation. And again, like I had said before, that soccer ball has very little knockback. He's at 190 and he barely got anything bear? from it. But that back out of shield is gonna go ahead and close out Eli's second stop. Now, Ooh. Birch is kind of returning to the ledge where he's able to thrive off of soccer ball and its uh, utilizations. Uh, now I feel like the snake is getting a little bit, a uh, little bit desperate with uh, some of their, some of their attacks right here. Uh, you, you, you saw there from like as they were left trapped, they, they were throwing out like a whole, like, like a whole lot of options that will probably kill. Well, well, that's part of, the, well, that's well, part of the thing with again, snake. A lot of the time, it's throwing out things just because. That's why, that's why people again, call him the king of trades. Every chance that he gets, he will pop a grenade out of his pocket, pull the pin, and we'll get some sort of present on it. But catching a landing with up tilt there on Eli. Just a 65% deficit here for him. Whew, that shield's looking like a skittle now after that up smash. Christ. <laughs> oh, so I asked, like what I said earlier. Then again, hey. Six ledge trapping tools also include like like his down P and his up smash. Mm -hmm. Those are solid ledge trapping tools as well. And those can definitely kill. Forward well. smash too right. even if you're feeling risky about a two frame. Yeah, is that but right now, D uh, Eli, a 100% deficit, and he's got to find a way to climb back. Especially if he lets Birch get that deep breathing, he's really got to play patient and defensive much more than he has at all right now in this game. A little bit of a weak back air. Every Eli free recovery with a down tilt to protect himself. Ooh, however, grenade with the contacts not going to interrupt the deep breathing cycle. Now Eli's got to find a way to survive this deep breathing onslaught. Ah, they tried to go for the forward tilt for a moment, only dash to get punished attack. with a dash attack. Gonna go ahead and close it out for Birch in game one. Loses top eight between Eli and him. 
that's uh, p p pardon me for like uh, like mentioning that uh, that the snake player was like seemed a little like desperate at one point. I guess no, that no, was you're the case. fine because because <laughs> that's valid too. Sometimes where it just becomes a matter of because because sometimes it becomes a matter of let me throw as much shit as I can out of out of yeah. my character's arsenal just to combat them and make them kind of just suffer with it too. It, it, you're you're not wrong I'm, for pointing that out. And, and given like the position they were, they were in, like I, I wouldn't blame them if, if they were actually were desperate for a kill. But, a, you, but you can't. But you shouldn't be doing that. Hey. Yeah, no, it's you're definitely right with that. Like this. With a character like a We Fit Trainer, the last thing you want to do is get desperate and start to throw out random moves in hopes that they would work and give you some sort of advantage. More now than ever, Eli needs to be cold and calculated, ensure that uh, most of his options will lead to better punishes than they had before. And right now, these double grenades on ledge are setting up a shop that Eli can just board himself in. He is really doing a good job at combating, uh, at combating Birch's soccer ball here on the ledge, using grenades, down air, and up and uh, up smash even. Now, t and now, uh, Nikita gonna get beaten out by that a uh, little bit of armor. But hey, no need for that because they didn't manage to get the four total. Nicely Eli done, seems to be done. playing so much smoother now than he was in game one. But his yeah, shield so almost being taken out by both the soccer ball and the headbutt. Oh, Jesus. A nice, nice little uh, knit, knit up and getting that uh, side deal. And he's still racking up some damage. Oh, my God. That, that volleyball was like mad close after that point. So. Eli with a nice recovery there from high ground on Cypher with grenade. And he's going to challenge that incredible awareness and reaction speed from Eli to challenge the deep breathing and ensure that uh, Burge can't get it as much as possible. Ooh. That's the last thing that he really wants in this matchup for his opponent to have super strong state of power. That sounded counterintuitive, but you know, we go with it. Back throw, no deep breathing. However, it is on deck. Ooh. Up smash on the soccer ball, not gonna send Wait. anything yet. Wait. Wait, did the state play like try, try to like down tilt? And like, did the iframes of up smash kick in like right as they try to do the down tilt? Um. I I think I think, I think part of it might have been the contact with the soccer ball that uh, that Birch had there, but uh, I do think that you also might be right uh, with the down tilt challenge. So then, wow. Boxing with the soccer ball, but Grenade's going to trade for that one there. Now Eli, 187 versus Birch's 170. Yep. Finally, that. a back air out of shield. Yeah, that, that was kind of a given. Down throw, uh -oh. up tilt with the sleep knock. Yeah, they're at a really high. Little high one, two buckle mashu there. Three, four grenades and more. <laughs> Five, six forward air is going to carry you across the bloody stage. And add in a C4 for the mix. <laughs> Birch doing a great job so climbing up from this stock deficit. Not a single lick on him. I lied. He's now got a lick on him. <laughs> oh my God. Now Eli is challenging. Birches. And we ain't talking about no Yoshi. I really I, love I how uh, uh, I, I said this a little bit earlier, but I really love how Eli had been challenging a lot of Birch's ledge options with uh, with soccer ball and the way that he kind of posi positioned himself there when he was an advantage forcing um, a lot of, uh, of weird uh, icky interactions there because you're not used to because when you're in the advantage, you're not used to fighting your opponent on ledge. You're you're more so used to uh, to, to kind of finding that finding them in stage and then getting your edge guard and you being the one who forces the ledge guard. But at that point, uh, Birch is kind of doing it almost in a reverse fashion. Wait wait but wait wait but, uh, but what is that? Like, uh, so so you know how Birch has been playing around the ledge a lot with soccer ball. It's kind of almost oh, okay. forcing a reverse scenario where Birch is the one in control of the uh, of the interaction and situations at ledge, where more so you're used to you as the player on stage being uh, used to that interaction. Uh, okay, but great okay. catch on the air dodge there from Birch with the sun salutation there. Oh! <laughs> nice great done. parry punish and reaction from Eliakim there. No, it's my back. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's sore as hell. It's oh, there we are. I got me a nice Tobey Maguire crack out. Oh, so far, Eliakim seems to have made the necessary yeah. adjustments in order to keep himself in the game against Birch. 
We're going to PS2 now for our third and final game between Birch and Eliakim. Not counting either players out as they have both shown convincing leads and adaptions through their set so far. Seems that Eli is starting to play just a little bit more patiently than he had in the previous two games. We saw how that worked out for him in game two. Maybe it'll work out just a little bit more in his favor now. Ooh, strong fair there. Even a few seconds into the game, like, they, they, they ride like, quite a bit of damage on each other, but this is like, relatively even for the most part. Like, both, both got like a solid grip of like, how each other plays. That was a nice play by Eli there, using the invincibility for his uh, for his throw attack to go ahead and ensure that only Burge gets the percent from the grades, uh, grenades. Forward throw there. Nice now he's going to set up shop with Nikita. Oh, but then he's going to catch him out with it. That's incredible. Nicely done. Ooh, nice with the C4. C4 down tilt. Good combo. Forward tilt now. He's at 40. <laughs> Oh man. Other parts of down air. I, I, I talked uh I don't know your opinion on snake down air. I feel like it's one of his strongest moves. Nah, like I I I, I can see it. I, I can sort of see it. Uh, especially when it when it comes to, like tech uh, situations, uh low key. As well as like just being like somewhat of a solid uh, out of shield option as well, or possibly. So yeah. I think oh, yeah. I don't think it's too bad. I think it works really well in his in uh in Eli's favor as such an oppressive tool and like you had talked uh, uh had said tech chases too I think are very strong. Nice forward tilt to catch neutral get up. It's it's, it's a nice uh, it seems to be a solid multi hit uh, and, and and snake seems, seems to have a solid uh, air, air mobility to like back that up as well. Ooh, hula hoop's gonna beat it out there stall Nikita just a little bit down throw Ooh. hoping for a roll in. But not getting back. Now oh, Eli's gonna read the roll out. out. Right right. Eli seems to have. Hey, play, play no, no, no saying like, fool me once, <laughs> shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Eli seems to be Stay showing a much back. better grasp of this, having just a little bit bigger of a lead than he had in game two beforehand, where Birch was still able to climb back and put things at an even state before. But right now, he's down by 40% and a whole stock. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, rolling out uh, yet again after that down throw. Seems to be a bit of a habit that Birch uh, has, I think. A trade with soccer ball, a little bit more beneficial in Eli's favor. That forward tilt gonna catch him out. But safe recovery with Cypher so far. Sticking out the little uh, late part of back here to go ahead and uh, give himself a bit safer recovery there too. Okay, nice catch on, on that side B with that dash tag. And gets the jab off. And I like how Eli is challenging the state of deep breathing. Huh. I, I don't keep feel like uh, this, this thing player should uh, utilize the grenades a, sl a slight bit more like uh, when it comes to, like just catching uh, or like covering the roll. Uh, yeah, that was just like using C4. Uh, to See the the part. Ooh, good catch on the roll in uh, from Birch's part. I think the hard part about trying to. Oh, wow! wow! They ducked under he the floor tilt to get that up to. Oh wow! That's that is a prime example of split second decision.